high school band from Jackson, Mississippi thought it would be a good halftime skit to show band members symbolically shooting SWAT team members. This is a high school band during a halftime show. I wonder where they got the crazy idea that it was okay for black people to attack cops like that. Outrage tonight over performance by a Jackson High School band that featured toy guns. Two police officers were recently shot and killed in the city where it happened. Take a look. The performance took place Friday night at a football game between Forest Hill High from Jackson and Brookhaven High School. Some are saying Forest Hill's performance depicted students dressed as doctors and nurses holding SWAT team members at gunpoint. Many Brook in the Brookhaven community we spoke with say they are not happy about it, especially after losing two police officers in the line of duty last week. Shocked at the halftime performance just because of everything that our community is going through. And no disrespect to the Forest Hill, however, I think when they decided to do that performance, they should have taken consideration that we was already going through a lot at this time. And we're still, you know, trying to figure out what needs to be done about the situation at hand so it's supposed to be about football and and i was a band i have a passion for music but and that makes me embarrassed for bands too you know that, that's such a a bad skit the city of jackson has confirmed that the band director of forest hill is now on administrative leave pending an investigation if you're a member of a high school band and you take and you're symbolically shooting policemen uh, uh, SWAT team officers during your halftime band show well people have to say well okay they're kids kids are stupid but where did they learn all this crap I know one place they learned it you guys will remember this one Jackson City Councilman Kenneth Stokes comments about violence against police officers from other cities has Facebook buzzing here's what he said what I suggest, we get the black leadership together. And as these jurisdictions come into Jackson, we throw rocks and bricks and bottles at them. Tell us in the message, we don't want you in here. And the local station may have dutifully reported that everybody in the community was very upset. By the way, did those people look upset? They weren't really upset. Oh, it really makes bands look bad. Oh yeah, that's like the biggest thing happening here. It really is a poor reflection on bands. Yeah, that's the overall lesson here. Now, the overall lesson here is what those people from Jackson, Mississippi did is something that they learn at home, at school, at church, with their mother's milk. They learn it in rap videos. They learn it in music. And not that many people in Jackson, Mississippi were upset about it. Here's a couple of comments from Facebook where the comments were, were less filtered. That's a disgrace. Okay, yeah, right. But unarmed black people getting murdered by police isn't. Of course they're black, then they must be thugs. Yeah, okay. That's the sorry, not sorry apology. And that kind of went on and on and on and on. Fuck the police. You know, as bad as it is, in, the bad as that was in Jackson, Mississippi, why don't we head up to a, Chicago, a suburb of Chicago called Englewood? By the way, there's Englewoods in California, Chicago, and New Jersey. Those are three dark and dangerous chocolate cities. I don't know what it is about Englewood that makes them that way, but let's go to the Englewood in the middle of the country, Chicago where this is just another day in the life what we don't see in this video is the cops are somebody spits in a cop's face another guy hits a cop with a board over the head then the chase is on so they get in the house chasing the guys who assaulted the cops all of a sudden there's always that one courthouse jailhouse lawyer because you guys don't have a warrant to come in here no if you're pursuing somebody in the commission of a crime you don't have to go back to a judge and say hey judge Oh, yeah, we got these guys cornered. Can we go in and get them now? No, you're allowed to go right in that house, even if that means breaking down the doors, breaking down the windows, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These guys are lucky there weren't any, their lives are lucky there wasn't anyone shot in that video. Somebody's <laughs> 43 troops in the house! 
Hey man, y'all better chill the fuck out. Said about this. This is just another day in the life of how we treat the oppressors who are occupying our communities, i.e., the white cops. As because uh, we know this isn't from Englewood, this is from Wisconsin. This little video, you guys will remember this one. Cause to me, he ain't do no wrong. Just shot a cop. Cause to me, he ain't do no wrong. Just shot a cop. This is this is a more. This is a more accurate reflection of black attitudes towards cops. But just don't forget, we could have avoided all this argy-bargy if the cops had just remembered not to make the black kids angry. 